Hi guys, this is the very last part of deconstructing a story. In this part, we are going to talk about falling action and resolution. The falling action comes after the climax of the story. This is where the author has to find a way to bring the reader back to reality. When the story ends without a falling action, the reader is sometimes left without the feeling of closure. They're wondering what happened. To make sure that the reader is satisfied with the story and is left feeling complete, the author writes an ending. In Disney movies, this is where the princess is finally accepted, married, or achieves whatever success she set out to do. Since the falling action comes after the climax, always look toward the very end of the story. In Little Riding Hood, and this is the cartoon version, the nice version, this is where the woodcutter comes and kills the wolf, rescuing both Grandma and Little Red. If you've read the grim version, the falling action is where the woodcutter sees the wolf and heads toward him. Now, the resolution of a story is where everything comes together and we know the true ending. Sometimes it even lets us look into the future. It is always the very, very, very last part of the story. Sometimes I call the resolution being wrapped up with a big red bow. And what I really mean is that the author has given us everything we need to know to achieve that closure. They leave no detail without a resolution. The resolution to the cartoon version of Little Red is that they all lived happily ever after. The grim version, again, if you haven't read it, is much darker. The woodcutter actually kills the wolf and then goes home with his trophy. This leaves Little Red and Grandma gone forever. Now there's some issues with following action and resolution because there are stories and some of which we will read don't have a following action or resolution. These stories end at the climax. They are written this way on purpose. The author may want the reader to find his or her own conclusion to the story, or they may want to leave you in a state of shock like the lottery by Shirley Jackson. When you deconstruct a story, don't try to force a falling action or a resolution. Just know that sometimes there isn't one. Good luck with this. And if you have any questions, as always, you can email me and we can go through it together.